So we are still on photo test questions as at 2019 slash 2020. So today we'll be looking at uh, the fifth question, which says determine the vertical asymptotes of i x squared plus one over x squared minus one i i two minus x all over x squared minus five x plus six. Please, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do where to subscribe to Sa Edumas YouTube channel. Sa Edumas. Now, we are going to start. Firstly, let's start with uh, number one, solution. So the first one says, determine the vertical asymptote of x squared plus one all over x squared minus one. So based on what I taught you people in class, I said that before you determine the vertical asymptote of a function, first of all, no, check that. First of all, check if that function can be factorized that is if something can be cancelled out okay then if you look at this numerator the numerator cannot be factorized but the denominator can so therefore we cannot cancel anything okay so we just forge ahead to set the denominator equal to zero so we say that vertical asymptote is at denominator equals to zero. Okay? That is where we see our vertical asymptote. So what do we mean? The denominator here is x squared minus one equals to zero. That is where the vertical asymptote is. So from here we have that x plus one bracket x minus one is equals to zero. This implies that it's either x plus one is equal to zero or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have that x equals to minus 1 here, or x equals to 1 from here. So therefore, our vertical asymptote is at x equals to plus or minus 1. So once you plug this minus, plus or minus 1 into this function, you will get the denominator equal to 0. Which is undefined. So any value of x that can make denominator undefined, that, that can produce a zero on the denominator, we call it vertical asymptote. It is opposite of domain. Okay? If you are asked to find the domain of this function, you can say all real number except plus or minus one. So vertical asymptote is opposite of domain of a function. Now let us forge ahead to the second question. The second question said, we are asked to evaluate this, and then if you check out this one, we are going to first of all factorize this to check whether something can cancel this before we now solve, okay? Always solve whenever you have checked for factorization. Now from here, what we have is 2 minus x all over, to factorize this, we look for two numbers that can multiply themselves to give us c, so and it will give us a minus 5x. Automatically, that is minus 2x times minus, uh, sorry, minus 2 times minus 3, which will give us positive 6. So this can be factorized to x minus 2, bracket x minus 3. That is the factor. So we have, factor, we have factorized the denominator. Now watch out, this is x minus 2, and this is 2 minus x. So we can just affect this by minus, and write it as x minus 2, okay, all over x minus 2, bracket x minus 3, okay, what we did is just to multiply by minus, okay, so that the function will change, so from here, this can pull up this, the function reduced to minus 1, all over x minus 3, this is the main function, okay, now this one we cancelled out is what we call the who, the whole of the function. So if you are asked to find the whole, then you set this one, you cancel out x minus 2, set it equal to 0, so you have gotten your whole. But we are not talking about whole today, we are talking about vertical asymptotes. Maybe the other time we can make a video on vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, slant asymptotes, and whole as well. Now from here, the vertical asymptote is at x minus 3 equals to 0. Therefore, vertical 
Yeah, so x is equal to 3. This implies that vertical asynchrote is at x equals to 3. So you see how we solved it. But many people might make the mistake of not factorizing this to pull up this. And they will get um, x equals to 3, comma, my, um, 2. Okay, they will get x equals to 3. X equals to 2 as the vertical asymptote, which is wrong. So, whenever you want to find the vertical asymptote, make sure you check if the function is factorizable before you go ahead. Thank you. Watch and subscribe and share to friends. Like, comment. If there is any problem, if there is anything that is not going well, please, you know, you just started my photo student and beyond. Watch, share, and subscribe. Thank you.